Gaining entry into professional courses has sea of changes with the population explosion and the number of students getting into academic institutions every year. Competitive exams have become more competitive that cracking them and making it difficult has become a part of making them sensible. And uh, the recent addition, NEET exams have been making a much ado in the media and it has created such an image that it is very hard to crack uh, those exams. Today, we have Professor Ansar from the new college. He is here to disseminate to how to crack the NEET exams. Welcome, sir. So, could you please tell us uh, what motivated you to uh, coach students for NEET exams, sir? It's actually, it's a group of teachers from New College. We thought that we could do something as educators, as college teachers. We could help the downtown sections of the society. And we actually initiated uh, taking free classes for this uh, civil service exams, okay. like TNPC, UPSC, etc. But when NEET was uh, brought in, and there was a lot of charges over need. We actually started uh, a campaign. We thought that need is going to be there. I think I am talking about two years back okay. when people were not sure about need, need mm. being able to matter, and still the government are saying that need will not be there. Mm. We thought, based on the political scenario and based on the uh, talks by the political leaders, we thought need is going to be there, and we actually printed almost uh, 50,000 notices. Okay. Saying that need is going to be there, new medical aspirants be ready for need, prepare for need. Okay. And we send these notices across uh, to different uh, sections of the society in Chennai. Okay. We got resp responses. Actually, most of the questions were about need. Mm. Uh, what actually need is? What is the pattern of the need questions? People are not aware of that. And even we got queries on uh, whether you are going to coach us, whether there is any. Uh, program we are organizing. Slowly, this thought crept in. We thought we will uh, do something for these people. We started a program. We advertised as free need program for 30 days. And actually, from uh, after the end of the plus two exams, before we need exams. Okay. So, for 30 days program, we help our students, mm. particularly uh, first generation learners, economically, socially downward people, to get some training for need so that crack need. We advertise it. And the advertisement was uh, through social media, through WhatsApp and Facebook. Okay. And slowly as the days passed, we uh, actually in the beginning we got just 10 or 15 applications. Okay. And we decided that 450 in SSLC mark will be the right idea. Initially there were 10 to 15 students and slowly as the days passed on us, people thought, uh, people began to realize that need is going to come. Okay. Uh, we got almost 250 to 300 students, applicants from all over Tamil Nadu. Okay. So it, is a, it is not what we expected. And most of them are above 450. <laughs> so we are, uh, we are little, little no choice, but since we initiated, we thought we will do it. Mm. And uh, we selected almost 120 students. Okay. Uh, initial thing was just for 12 students, and finally we had to come to 120 students. We divided segregated into two batches, and as, as usual, girls outnumbered boys. Okay. There are 80 students, 80 girl students, and 40 boy students. Okay. Uh, the girl students are divided into two batches. Mm. Actually, around 40 students came from different parts of the state. And other 40 students are from Chennai. Okay. So people from other parts of the uh, states were uh, grouped into one batch. Mm. People from Chennai was grouped into another batch. And one person named Moedin sir, actually he is a retired uh, engineer. Okay. He actually he was conducting uh, free classes for 10th and 12th students in his area. Okay. We approached him and he was kind enough to give us the place mm. for the girl students. Uh, and for boys, I think New College Management was. Uh, kind enough to provide class as well as uh, accommodation facilities for outstanding students in New College itself. Okay. Uh, so, boys classes were conducted in New College, girls classes were conducted at Gaidens Point near Amir Mahal. Okay. So, three batches. We, we meant what we wanted to do and we made sure that uh, we get a good book. Okay. We, got, we got professional people for uh, persons who are already taking in commercial institutes, okay. were hired in for these uh, hmm. classes. For the outstation girl students, uh, some many of our friends mm -hmm. uh, helped us. Some four or five houses were rented. Okay. Uh, many of them uh, sponsoring that. Okay. Uh, I think I remember one Jaffer sir from Chidari uh, who offered his new house okay. to buy the girls to stay. 
So somehow or other they were able to run that show. But the thing is that uh, many of them came in because of that. There was because it was a free class. Okay. <laughs> they were not very much uh, serious about serious about the classes. Mm. Eventually, we got three students to get into Gurun Medical College. One from each batch. Well, one okay. from each batch. Okay. And because of this, we got three <laughs> students. So we thought we will continue with that. Okay. But based on the experiences we had with the previous batch, we thought that it's not the quantity. We need to select the right people for this course. Okay. We had two criteria: first generation learners and economically backward students were being taken. So. Uh, there was a two method in which we selected students one through an entrance exam okay uh, second thing uh, by talking to them actually uh, i couldn't say it is an interview okay. we talked with the students separately and and even the parents separately we tried to get their uh, seriousness why the seriousness as well as their economic condition so based on all these things we selected students this year what happened now we thought that we really We will select number of uh, minimum number of students. Ten students are selected. It was a year batch. Okay. We termed uh, actually the classes starts on 15th August and uh, ended on uh, 26th January. It was a uh, for the year batch. Okay. So we termed this independence to uh, republic by mm-hmm. just infusing a nationalism also mm-hmm. on that. So based on that, thirteen students were uh, trained. After the plus two exam, they were again taken in. It was a uh, day long batch okay. converted to a day long batch. For almost twenty-three days, from the date uh, two days after the date of the last plus two exam and two days before the date of the NEET exams, these thirteen students were uh, given full training. They have to come by six o'clock. By eleven, after eleven thirty, they will be with us. They will go back, come back again by five. Up to ten o'clock, they will be there. More tests were put for the uh, second s- stage of our program, and uh, when the announced the result came, I think we. We were lucky enough to get thirty students to <laughs> crack the NEET exams. Total number of out of thirteen, thirteen. All the thirteen. All the thirteen. All the thirteen. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. It's a great news. Yeah. Having succeeded in getting all the thirteen, so what will be your next strategy? Will you scale this up through India, or you are con- you are going to concentrate only on down to urban people? So I, I, we we get lot of uh, offers from like minded people from different parts of the state also. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, an organization called a voluntary organization called Alaya Karana Rakatla in Chennai itself in near Pudupetai. Okay. And people from Kanyakumari district they approached us. Okay. And actually, they are initiating these process. Uh, they are starting such programs in that in their areas. Hmm. As far as we are concerned, I think we will stand our with our basics. Our initiative is just to help the. Socially and economically backward people. Okay. And we thought that need on one hand may not be hundred percent true. On one side, it it will affect the socially and economically backward people. Okay. Um, this because of the pattern of examination as well as the methodology of studies we have to the students. Okay. So we thought that we can help them. So them. can you give us a detail about how uh, need is structured and uh, what are the ways to crack it easily? So um, actually, actually, there are a lot of uh, opposition to NEET in the state of Tamil Nadu, yeah. and most of the opposition was based on based on saying that it it is because of the CBSE. Okay. Uh, CBSE, CBSE students tend to gain. Hmm. Uh, NEET is a uh, multiple choice oriented questions. Uh, almost ninety plus ninety, one eighty questions will yeah. be there. Fifty percent of the questions will be from the biology portion. Okay. And the remaining fifty percent is equally shared with physics and chemistry. Fine. So uh, one day one eighty questions will be there, and I think this is the, for the first time our students, stay, particularly the state boards uh, students, are subjected to a complete questionnaire with multiple choice question. Okay. In their entire uh, <laughs> life of almost fourteen years, mm. I think they have not uh, uh, gone through such a question. Okay. Have a multi choice question. You have to be more specific on that. Second thing, and again for the first time, these students are subjected to negative marking. Hmm. Uh, in a state, in a examination pattern where students are encouraged to write more and more, yeah. I think negative marking is a dampener, mm. particularly to the girl students. Okay. Uh, without pra- experience, it's very hard to stop them from writing a, from a, attending any question. Okay. Because once you attend a wrong question, you get a negative mark. Yeah. So you you write twenty five questions, write uh, questions, and you get you score hundred marks. And the remaining, if the if the remaining fifty questions, if you are going to Right, wrong question. It comes down. Yeah. Uh, so negative marking is another thing. 
The third one I think which, which has been somewhat solved is by our state board students, uh, schools, uh, teachers, uh, many of the schools, they do not take the 11th portions. Okay. Which actually was the basic for oh. the 12th portion. And even 53, 50 to 55 percent of the questions come from the 11th portion. Right. So, uh, subject oriented, concept oriented, if you do not study, if you do not take the relevant portion, I think you, you cannot uh, continue the concept of the rule standard. Okay. So, 10th standard is a public exam, 11th standard they just tend to relax a bit, which means students do not take it seriously, teachers do not take it seriously and they have to come back to the 12th standard and continue the remaining 50 percent of the, so actually they are now only 50 percent. But the thing is that teachers are supposed to give results, students are given a portion, then a blueprint, then out of this blueprint questions will be asked. So, uh, education was uh, made, made narrower then. Mm. Now with this need, I think you have to be broad minded, you have to be concept wise, uh, you have to learn that and you have to do that. Subject wise, I think biology is very easy. Okay. Uh, yeah, biology is easy and, and you have to be thorough with biology. If you, if you can score more, more than 300 marks in biology alone, I think you will be able to crack need because physics is the toughest subject which I could gauge from the students. Okay. Physics was the toughest subject, concept wise, math, mathematical wise, derivation wise, everything. Physics was the toughest subject and then chemistry will be there. So if you can score anything above 300 and maybe 100 or 100 in physics and chemistry, I think you can get into a good college. Let's okay. see. So where would you rate uh, needs difficulty as compared to CA or UPSC exams? So all these exams have their own uh, difficulty level. Okay. Uh, the UPSC exam nation is more tough. I think it's one of the uh, toughest thing. Okay. Uh, CA, I think it, it's not uh, more, much of this uh, multiple choice based question, objective questions. Okay. Uh, that, that's a different type of exam. But it is difficult because of the change in two things. One, the teaching learning process. Here. Okay. The teaching learning process to competitive examination should be different. For our board examinations are different. I think it's concept based uh, exams. Mm. I think our students performance is uh, much below than students from uh, BRR Uttar Pradesh. Other states. Fine. For competitive exams. Mm. Mm. So uh, in that in that aspect I think it's difficult for our students because we are moving into a new pattern of uh, thing. Uh, second thing with regard to the examination pattern. Mm. More mental stress will be there. I think, particularly for the 11th, 12th board exams, 12th board exams, and they come for neat exams. Uh, again, uh, the questions which are going, which, which was asked till now, is different from the question pattern which is to be asked in the neat exams. Okay. So adjusting to this uh, will be difficult for our students. Okay. But if you work smartly, hmm. instead of putting much of hard work, if you can plan your studies. If you can work smartly, I think cracking need, you can easily crack need. Okay. And I don't think Tamil Nadu students will lag behind in that. Mm. The only thing is time. I think it will take some one or two years for our students to accustom us to the new exams. Okay. And with the government come uh, taking steps uh, to prepare our students. Okay. I think some effort from the students and parents will uh, help our students to uh, come to Yes, correct so these exams. When will be the right time for students to start their preparation for NEET? Mm, when will be the right time? I think uh, it, it again depends upon the individual, individual students. Okay. But many many students who, who already developed themselves, maybe because of their parents, okay. they tend to start from 8th or 9th. Uh, mm. But for me, I think after this is LC. Okay. When you start your plus one plus two, I think if you can start from day one of your plus one exams and if you can put your goal post as neat, I think till now most of our students, most of our parents, uh, they give importance to 10th exams, they give importance to 12th exams and then go for neat. Mm -hmm. But if you are a medical aspirant, I think your goal post should be neat exams, the medical entrance and not to the plus two exams. Fine. If you, are, if you can do that, mm. if you can... Uh, Straight away prepare for need as the main focus, then it will be easy for you to crack. So many private institutions that are into this need uh, cracking business, uh, many of them are not able to make 100% result and you have made it with all the 13 students. And with this success, how are you planning to uh, scale this success or uh, will you be restricting the numbers to 
produce quality candidates out uh, for neat exams please elaborate i think we intend to go step by step okay i think actually uh, we took in that in students mm. and our uh, aim was to get all that in clear neat okay clearing it makes you eligible for uh, an uh, admission to medical uh, colleges yes. you know that there are three types of admissions to medical colleges in tamil nadu okay i am not talking about the central quota uh, national level uh, counseling within the state of tamil nadu in the, out of the 85 percent of seats here there are three types of uh, seats okay. one for government college mm. and for self financing it's government quota and self management quota so three types of seats okay. for a government college seat you need to pay just around 13600 uh, i am basing it on the last year's fees okay 13600 per year for mbbs fees if you get a seat in uh, self financing college under the management quota most of these colleges get around 4 lakh rupees okay per year and if you are going for a management uh, seat in a self financing quota the maximum fees is 12.5 lakhs per year mm. so based on the need much i think with just 1 lakh rupees you can complete the entire bbs course in a government college okay. whereas when you go for um, self financing quotas i think you need more money mm. our next priority is to make all our students to come within the government college quota okay uh, to the, the uh, last year it was cracking under rating 100 percentage and now our priority will be to take all the uh, students we take and them to the government colleges okay actually we, we have taken a, we have booked a very small had a very small room and we have just put 13 seats there sir okay. 15 seats okay uh, if we take more of them i think uh, the quality may be compromised okay so whole students we take who are we take uh, whatever may be the number we want them to bring quality output we want them to be based in government college medical colleges and that's and the reason is very simple if you get a medical college seat if you get a bbbs for just by paying 1 lakh rupees for 5 years we can tell that students to be a good doctor i tell my students if it if you know that this is the only thing they can get give back to us we are not a, such a big organization uh, we are just a handful of uh, college teachers coming together we took the certain students on uh, merit on their economic conditions we are not okay. taken fees we have uh, given the books mm. actually we they come by 6 o'clock we give them free breakfast okay we we help them in all other ways we just make them to study alone okay so we we do help uh, what in whatever possible way to these students we take so that they will be concentrating only on the job in hand okay. to, to clear need their need if we go for more number of students maybe our financial strength and financial thing will be good but i don't think we can able to bring out all these hundred students here at <laughs> black meet okay it's nice meeting you sir uh, so we pray that uh, your service uh, widens and you get more uh, people get uh, to crack meet thank you uh, thank you thank you for uh, very much for the ict and for everyone being it thanks today we featured professor ansar the neat buster for more such inspiring and enlightening videos follow ICT Academy Dialogue.